Hey, what's going on VC? Um, Alex here. Back for um, a very, very belated video. Um, one I wanted to do a couple of weeks ago, um, but just haven't had the time to do. This is my Record Store Day 2013 video, um, showing you the finds I picked up on Saturday the 20th, um, 4.20, Record Store Day 2013. Big day for a lot of people, especially us in the community and record collectors worldwide, you know, going down supporting their local indie record stores, um, you know, buying the exclusive products and it's just generally a very exciting day for a lot of people, um, bands playing, just a kind of party atmosphere and uh, I really enjoyed it this year, I thought, um, you know, uh, I, I thought it was a lot better than last year, um, both in terms of what was put out, um, the exclusive releases that you know were issued for Record Store Day this year, I thought they were you know top quality, um, some great stuff, some stuff I, I really wanted to pick up, and um, balanced with you know pretty reasonable prices I thought. Um, I guess compared to last year I remember them putting out a lot of very very extortionate overpriced LPs, I remember some Vanguard uh, reissues that were going for 40, 50 pounds, and I did see some LPs that were going for that kind of money this year. Um, notably, I saw The Last Waltz um, was reissued, I think, on a double LP, 180 gram vinyl. Really, really wanted it, but it was 40, 45 pounds or something. And I, you know, I just can't spend that kind of money on, on vinyl. But uh, I guess some people can, and that's why they can uh, afford to price um, some of this stuff at, you know, at that kind of money. Um, but I just can't afford it. But I thought, you know, a lot of the stuff was reasonably priced, kind of under £20 for an LP or a decent EP, you know, under £10 for a 7-inch. Uh, I'm willing to pay that kind of money if I really do want something. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it this year. Um, this was the first time I went to the record store in Oxford, uh, my local store uh, in Oxford. You know, I, I've obviously been living there for the past eight months now and uh, this is a store I've, I'm pretty loyal to. I go down there admittedly, admittedly to look a lot of the time. I don't often have the uh, the funds to actually buy a lot of stuff there but I do go down and just kind of admire, admire the vinyl, look what they have in the second hand racks and I do occasionally buy stuff. I have bought more recently from that store which I will be showing in another video, um, non-record store day related. But uh, yeah, I went down there. Uh, they had uh, Pretty, pretty good atmosphere. Uh, I got down there about 8:30 in the morning. Had a pretty heavy night the night before. I went out. Um, yeah, I went out with my friends, so I, I got back pretty late. Slept really, really well, and I woke up later than I wanted to. And as I say, I only managed to get down there for about 8:30, um, which I knew wasn't gonna wasn't gonna cut the mustard. I knew I was gonna be, you know, kind of middle of the line, maybe maybe 20, 20 places from the front of the line, something along those lines. And um, yeah, I was, uh, I'd say, uh, yeah, there's probably 40 people in front of me when I got down there. And it took a long while to get in there. Um, I was with my brother, it took me an hour and a half to get from where I was in the line to getting in the store, looking through the releases. So that was a bit of a, a long process, but it, it was worth it. And you know, there were people serving coffee outside which was nice, um, people just talking about records, I was talking to my brother, had a nice chat, the sun was shining so I really enjoyed it actually just you know standing in the line talking, you know kind of building up this anticipation getting in there and seeing the releases ultimately which was which was cool, I had a you know good look through the racks, I didn't come in with a kind of set of things I wanted to pick up, uh, I didn't come in with a list or anything like that. I find that doesn't really work for me um, because I'd probably end up being disappointed because I looked at the list and I, I figured out that the stuff I really really wanted to get was the stuff that was the most was going to be the most sought after. So I thought I'd just go in there with no expectations and see what I can pick up. And uh, I managed to get actually not that many things. I picked up three items in total, one LP, one 10 inch and one 7 inch, which was cool. Um, and then I picked up some other stuff, non record store day related, that, which I'll show in another video after this. Um, 
But yeah, I'm happy with what I picked up, and uh, I'm happy I didn't spend hundreds of pounds in the end. I think I spent £50 on everything I bought, including some, some other stuff as well. So I'm pretty happy with what I got. So I'll get on and show it without rambling on too much. Um, starting off with a few freebies. Um, of course, Record Store Day is uh, renowned for giving out free freebies now and again. Um, got some badges, a couple of stickers. Um, these CDs and uh, also a 12 inch. Um, some sampler CDs, got Free as the Atlantic, um, Speakeasy album sampler, which is pretty good. I like some of the tracks on here. Um, got another one for some reason. Traps, uh, this is kind of more metal orientated, uh, which I didn't really like so much. Uh, it's not really kind of decent metal music. It's not really my cup of tea, but got that one, and then I got the uh, the Silver Ticket um, Sub Pop album sampler, which is nicely packaged. I like what they did with this. CD's fallen out. Um, so yeah, I got that with a couple of booklets in it, which was nice. Again, I like some of the tracks on here. Got Shabazz Palaces, Father John Misty, <clears throat> Dawn Gibson, some great stuff on here. Um, so, oh yeah, and also I got a 12 inch from Rudimental, which I don't care for whatsoever, I have to say. Um, Rudimental, I've seen them live. They're kind of gaining a lot of popularity. I think they've just released their debut album in the last couple of weeks. And uh, I can't say I'm a fan. I liked seeing them live, um, but I can't, I can't get on board with their recorded music whatsoever. So this is... This was nice to get because it was a freebie, but yeah, I can't say I enjoy this at all, but um, nice to pick up. So those were the freebies, and I'll move swiftly on to the actual Record Store Day exclusives that I picked up. I'll start off with the 7-inch, and uh, you guys will have expected me to pick this up. I got the uh, Bob Dylan Wigwam Thirsty Boots 7-inch. Um, really, really nice. Really, really thick cardboard on this. Uh, nice original Columbia label um, and the tracks on here are pretty mixed they're very very different Wigwam is kind of an instrumental song you've got Dylan humming over a very very nice guitar riff but um, yeah nothing really to write home about that song it's, it's nothing special Thirsty Boots is a I think a much better song in my opinion he didn't actually write it though, um, Thirsty Boots was written by Eric Anderson and uh, Dylan did a version. Both these songs are from the uh, self-portrait sessions in 1969-1970 um, when Dylan, you know, it's not my favourite period of Dylan's career by any means but I, I do enjoy a lot, of this, a lot of the stuff he did on kind of Nashville Skyline, self-portrait, New Morning. I do, I do enjoy, you know, a few tracks on uh, those albums, so, you know, I can get on board with these songs. Um, and these are from the forthcoming Bootleg Series Volume 10, which I imagine is coming out later in the year, which is uh, obviously exciting whenever they put out a new, um, uh, yeah, a new Bootleg Series um, release. I, I always enjoy those, um, so be good to get that. But that was the Dylan 7-inch. Um, which was cool to get. The 10 inch that I picked up, um, not sure if this was available anywhere else. Um, I didn't see, I haven't seen anybody else show this in their Record Store Day videos. Um, but this was, this was cool to find as well. Um, I'd heard a bit about this band. This album was released back in 2007. This is The Dresden's um, self-titled album from 2007, as I say. Really, really nice pressing of this, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. Blue vinyl um, with some cool labels, um, 45 RPM. And what I'd say about this is it's just kind of straight up punk music, I'd say, kind of lending a, borrowing a lot of influence from um, the kind of pioneers of punk back in the late 70s, Sex Pistols, Clash. Uh, it's definitely got a Ramones feel to it, The Damned. You can tell that it takes a lot of influence from those bands and uh, kind of gives it a, a modern contemporary twist and uh, a pretty short album, um, very short snappy songs but I like that, I think the Dresdens are uh, very very talented and uh, 
They've got a Bandcamp page, which I'll maybe put in the description box if you want to check out this album. I'm pretty sure they still have some of these left. But um, give this a listen. I think a lot of people in the VC will enjoy this, um, and I certainly did. So, yeah, check this out, Dresden's self-titled. Okay then, so moving on to the, the final item I picked up on Record Store Day. This was the only LP um, I picked up simply for the fact that I didn't have the money to, to buy any more. There were a few that caught my eye and I did consider buying, um, notably those Orange Juice reissues um, that I want. I, I really wanted those. I've heard a couple of songs from Orange Juice recently and they looked like they were reissued pretty nicely um, and I think they still have them in the store so if I ever fancy going back there and picking them up then I might. But apart from that, I, there was nothing that I wanted enough to spend the money on. There are a couple of, a couple of other things I wanted to buy that weren't record store, record store Day releases that I ended up picking up instead. But this was the only Record Store Day LP I bought um, for a pretty good price. I thought this was a, a nice pickup. I got the Velvet Underground um, Skepta Studio Sessions. Um, and this is really nice. I'm a huge, huge Velvet Underground, Velvet Underground fan. Um, pretty much love all of their 60s albums, um, big fan of Lou Reed, love his voice. And um, the Velvet Underground and Nico is most probably my favourite Velvet Underground album um, from 1967. The, uh, of course, the iconic album, the album that they'll be remembered for, of course. Um, and this album here is pretty much the acetate, uh, well, in fact it is a recreation reprint of the acetate um, for the Velvet Underground and Nico. It's actually got a date on here, it got 4-25-66, so 25th of April 1966. Uh, they obviously had this, this studio session which must have been unbelievably successful um, if they managed to record. Uh, a lot of these songs are in fact the takes that actually made the album. Um, in fact the whole of the first side are you know the takes that made the album the final album so yeah I've, that album seems to have been made pretty much on a first take kind of basis. Um, got European Sun, The Black Angels Death Song, All Tomorrow's Parties, I'll Be Your Mirror, Heroin, Femme Fatale, Venus in Furs, Waiting for the Man and Run Run Run. So pretty much mirrors the track listing on the Velvet Underground and Nico, um, just in a different order. And a couple of these songs are outtakes, of course, um, which obviously means that the, some of them required more than one take. But um, this is really nice to have. Um, I have a kind of scratchy old copy of the Velvet Underground and Nico. Not a very nice pressing, so it's nice to have a clean copy. And obviously some, some miscellaneous kind of outtakes on there as well. It's, it's really nice to hear. Um, I've always been one for kind of outtakes and unreleased material. All of that stuff really interests me and uh, so I thought I'd pick this up because it was a pretty good price. I think I paid 18, 17, 18 pound for this which I thought was pretty reasonable. And uh, it's numbered, I've got number 2,313, so not a low number, I think there were 5,000 5, of these printed. So. Very happy to find this. Um, as I say, very nice to have a copy of this album, um, or close to a copy of the album, in mint condition. So, yeah, that was very nice to find. I haven't actually sh seen anybody else show that one yet, um, but uh, I certainly wanted it. So that's uh, that's what I picked up on Record Store Day this year. Um, not quite as successful as 2011, but far more successful than 2012, I would say. Some great stuff. Um, if I'd had more money, I would have picked up a lot more. There were a lot of there's a there was a lot of good stuff there, but um, didn't come at a great time financially for me, I guess. And uh, there are a couple of other things I was saving up for, which I'm going to show in my next video. I've um, got a heap of vinyl to show you guys. In fact, I'll show you all that to show at least ten LPs there. So uh, looking forward to doing that. I might do that today, might not. Um, but uh, this is my Record Store Day video. Um, great seeing everybody else show what they picked up. Uh, really enjoyed it. You know, I especially liked you know watching people tell stories about how they got up in the middle of the night because they couldn't sleep and going down to their record store at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Crazy, crazy stuff. 
Um, it just shows the dedication of some people in the vinyl community that they're, you know, willing to get up that early and stand in line um, in the middle of the night for, you know, five, six hours. It's unbelievable. But, um, yeah, I couldn't do that this year. As I say, got down there pretty late and, uh, yeah, ended up missing out on quite a lot of the, the rarer stuff, but I'm not really that bothered. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my record store day video. Um, sorry it's been so late, it's so late putting this up. Just in the middle of a very, very, very busy time. You probably caught me at my busiest time. I'm literally on the verge of finishing my first year of university. Uh, my final exam is on Wednesday, um, so I've got to get back to revision today. Just been revising my ass off for the last week or so trying to get ready for these exams but um, it'd be nice to get them over and done with and I can get back here hopefully bring my turntable back here buy some more vinyl over the summer and make lots and lots more videos but um, yeah that's the reason it's so late um, but apart from that I will see you soon showing the rest of these finds and uh, yeah that's about it guys thanks for watching <laughs>